The people mover. The people mover. The people mover. Well, I'm glad you're here tonight. What I want you to do is take your hands, put them together like this. No, not like that. It doesn't work. There you go. Smile at the person next to you. Well, Christmas time is here again. What a wonderful time of the year. We're wrapping gifts for everyone to show how much we care. Joy to the world for all the boys and girls now. Joy to the fishes in the deep blue sea, but forgiveness for you and me. Yeah, 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 joy. Give me, give me joy. Jesus gives me joy, joy. Christmas, Jesus. Christmas, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Christmas, now Jesus is with me all the time. He's with me day or night. It doesn't matter whether it's morning, noon, or night. You guide me by his light. How many of you got the light of Jesus tonight? Let me see your hand. Yeah. Joy to the world for all the boys and girls now. Joy to the fishes in the deep blue sea. But forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness for you and me. Joy to the world, joy to the world. Thank you. Well, guys, I am so glad you're here tonight, and I want to make sure that everybody knows people around them tonight. So this is what I want you to do. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Now, if what I say pertains to you, then you sit down, and we'll learn something about you. Like if I say, if you have purple eyes, sit down, then we'll know <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> so here we go. Sit down if anyone has ever told you that you snore. Oh, we got a whole family affair right back here. That's good. <laughs> Sit down if you've got the same socks on you had on yesterday. Oh. Sit down if you had to check and see if they were yesterday's. All right. Sit down if you've ever taken a piece of chewed gum and put it underneath a chair or a table or, oh, a whole group right here. Christine. That's good. Well, sit down if you've ever pulled one of those pieces off the table and chewed it. <laughs> oh, Mike. Stand up if you plan on having a good time tonight. Yeah, all right. All right. Sit down if you should be on a diet. <laughs> sit down if the person next to you should be on a diet. <laughs> oh, somebody just got hit. <laughs> All right, sit down if you consider yourself good looking. All right, sit down if someone around you just lied. All right, and sit down if you're happy for Christmas. All right, give yourselves a hand. Well, thanks for sharing. Hey, right now, take your hands, put them back together. It's moving time tonight when no one sits around. We'll all go up together and then you go back down. When you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. When you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. Hey, turn to the person on your right, shake their hand and say, Merry Christmas. I'm glad you're here. Merry Christmas. I'm glad you're here. Now turn to the person behind you and say, I love you. Welcome. When no one sits around, we'll all go up together and then we'll go back down. When you're up, you're up, 
And when you're down, you down. When you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. Now the word to this song is very simple, and I want you to learn it so you can sing it with me. They go like this. It's Christmas time tonight when no one sits around. We'll all go up together, and then we'll go back down. And then from there, it's just a bunch of ups and downs singing. And I don't care how, how well you sing. What I care is that you sing, and you sing loud. So kids, get ready to elbow your parents if they're not singing, okay? Here we go. It's Christmas time tonight when no one sits around. All go up together, and then we'll go back down. When you're up, you're up. When you're down, you're down. When you're only halfway up, you're neither up or well, not, not too bad, <laughs> not too good. Let's try it again. Come on, sing it out. Here we go, everybody. It's Christmas time. Christmas time tonight. No one sits around. All go up together and then we'll go back down. When you're up, you're up. When you're down, you're down. When you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. Well, good. You did pretty good. We're going to do it again, except this time there's going to be one little change. This time, when we sing the words up, I'd like for everyone to stand up. When we sing the words down, everybody sit back down. But watch out for the word halfway, because it's not up, it's not down, <laughs> it's kind of in that in-between position right about there. So if there's somebody around you and they're not doing it, <laughs> help them. <clears throat> so everybody get ready, and here we go. It's Christmas time tonight. When no one sits around, we'll all go up together, and then we'll go back down. When you're up, you're up, up, that's everybody, up, 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 here we go. And then we'll go back down, and when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. You're getting the hang of it. I saw a few parents get stuck in the halfway position. We'll do it again. This time a little bit faster. Everybody get ready. Here we go. It's moving time tonight. When no one sits around, we'll all go up together and then we'll go back down. When you're up, you're up. When you're down, you're down. When you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. It's Christmas time tonight. When no one sits around, we'll all go up together and then we'll go back down. When you're up, you're up. When you're down, you're down. When you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. It's Christmas time tonight when no one sits around. We'll all go up together and then we'll go back down. When you're up, you're up. When you're down, you're down. When you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. Oh, give yourselves a hand. Good job there. Woo. Who said do it again? No, that's okay. You know, I love Christmas, and I can tell you that I've got fond memories of growing up as a boy, of being there with my brothers, my sister, my mom and dad. My dad went to be with the Lord about 14 months ago. And I can tell you one thing about my dad. He was a very strong disciplinarian. But I always knew my dad loved me. And I can tell you that in all my days, not only was Christmas a special time, not only was birthdays a special time, my dad, guys, let's stop that. My dad made me always feel special. And I never remember a word ever coming out of my dad's mouth that was disrespectful to me. Stern, honest, yes, but never disrespect. And it made me realize growing up the power that we have in words, that we either lift people up by what we say or we tear them down. And it's so important, the things that we say, and I want to share a story that talks about how important it is the words that come out of your mouth, whether we're lifting up or tearing down. Hey, Pastor, I know that uh, 
that this is church. But would it be all right if I shared something about a skunk in church? It would be yes. all right? Yes. Oh, thank you. Little Johnny had a skunk. And even though his friends were few, everywhere that Johnny went, his friends would go, Pee! We don't do those things here. Well, it's part of my message. No. It's what I want to talk about. You'll just have to learn to do it like everybody else. Well, in this church, they don't do things like everybody else. You'll just have to learn. Little Johnny had uh, a... Uh, uh. Little Johnny uh, had... Li uh. Little Johnny uh. had... Well, the little boy went first day to school. He got some crayons and he started to draw. <laughs> he put color all over his paper. <laughs> all color is what he saw. And his teacher said to him, What are you doing, young man? Oh, I'm drawing flowers. <laughs> it's not the time for art, oh, young man. Oh, it's not? And oh. anyway, flowers Excuse are green me. and red. There's a time oh, for yes, everything, young man. Oh, yes, ma'am. A way it should be done. Oh, yes, ma'am. You've got to show concern for oh, everyone I will. else. Or you're not the only one. Well, I'm only six. Flowers <laughs> are red, young man. They are? Green leaves are oh, green. Oh, I thought they were all different colors. There's no need oh. to see flowers oh. any other oh. way than oh. the way oh. they oh. always oh. have oh. been oh. seen. But there's so many colors in a rainbow. So many colors in the morning sun. So many colors in a flower. And I see everyone. Well, the teacher said, you're sassy. Now there are ways things should be. Now you paint flowers the way they are, so repeat after me. Flowers are red, young man. Green leaves are green. And there's no need to see flowers any other way than the way they always have been seen. But there's so many colors in a rainbow. <laughs> so many colors in the morning sun. So many colors in a flower. And I see everyone. Well, the teacher then put him in the corner and said, it's for your own good. Now you won't come out till you get it right and are responding like you should. Well, that little boy, he got scared and frightening thoughts went into his head. So he walked up to his teacher and this is what he said. Flowers are, are red and the green leaves are, are green. And, and there's no need to, to see flowers in any other way than the way they always have and always will be seen. Well, time went on like it usually does. And that family moved to another town. With that little boy, he went to another school. But this is what he found. With a the teacher there, she was smiling. She said, painting should be fun. And there are so many colors in a flower. Let's use every one. So that little boy started painting flowers again. But this time it even rose of green and red. And when his teacher asked him why, this is what he said. He said, flowers are red. And green leaves are green. And there's no need to see flowers any other way. Any way. And there's only one way it can ever be seen. And it will never, ever be changed. But still, there must be a way our kids can say. There's so many colors in a rainbow, so many colors in the morning sun, so many colors in a flower, and I see everyone. There's so many colors in a rainbow, so many colors in the morning sun, so many colors in a flower, and I see everyone.
power of words. And they're so important. You know, I think of Christmas and the times that we get together as families, and it may be one of the rare times that we can have our whole family together. But I can tell you that it's so important that our family members know that they're important not only to God. You see, kids, I want to tell you, teens, adults, I want to tell you, none of you were born by accident. God has a plan for every single one of you. And you are important to God, but your family should let you know how important you are to them too. You know, sometimes we say, oh, my family knows we love them, but we let words get in the way like, clean up your room. Must you play that music so loud? You don't take me anywhere, Dad. And words like that. But you know what? We need to learn to express, not in our mind, but we need to learn to express to our family and members how important they are and the good things and qualities that we see in them. In fact, right now is what I call family affirmation time. Folks, we're all involved in this, and this is what I want you to do. In just a few minutes, I'm going to have you gather up with your immediate family, and if they're not here, gather up with a family of friends, and I want you to finish this statement. The thing that I love most about you is, and then tell them. What? I've never given a compliment in my life. Well, today you learn how. If my family was here, I've got five kids, but only two are still living at home. And if we gathered up with my wife, Debbie, and JJ and Sadie, I'd turn to Debbie and I'd say, Debbie, The thing that I love so much about you is that you are silent steel. You are so strong. You do things behind the scene that nobody sees, and you give of yourself, and I love that about you. And then, Debbie, then Sadie and JJ would say something to Debbie, and then I would turn to my, my daughter, Sadie, and I would say, Sadie, the thing I love about you is that you always make me laugh. Even when you're in trouble, you make me laugh. And we'd all say something to Sadie, and then I'd turn to JJ and say, JJ, the thing I love about you, you are the most courteous gentleman I've ever known. And then they'd say something to me. So this is what I want you to do. In just a second, I'm going to have you stand up. I want you to join with your family or your family of friends. If there's a visitor here, don't let them stand by themselves. And folks... We're all in this together. Pastor Dave has the security force at the back, so you cannot escape. <laughs> but I will only take about three minutes to do this, but I want you to stand right now, if you would. Stand up. Circle together with your fr family or your family of friends and finish the statement to each one, the thing that I love most about you is, and tell them right now. Okay, time's up. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding.
About one more minute. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. All right. Hey, let me ask you, how many of you, it felt good to say something good about somebody? I hope so. How many of you, it felt good to have something good said to you? Hey, folks, can I remind you that what you just did should not be a -a once-a-year activity. It should be a daily thing. I tell my kids, I I talk about the fact that love looks for the best in people. And if you would look for the best, young people look for the best in your parents. Parents look for the best in your kids. You know, if you look for the best in them, then it'll change how you look at people and even how you look at the Lord. And I've got to tell you, I've been in a lot of churches where when the service is done, People go have fried preacher for Sunday lunch. But I've got to tell you that if you will remember to support your pastoral staff behind their backs and in front of others, not only will it change your look on the church, but also how you see the Lord. In fact, I'll tell you what, the pastoral staff that's here and their their wives, if they have wives, I'm going to ask them to stand for just a second, all the pastoral staff and their wives. Congregation, I don't know how often you get a chance to do this, but would you show them your appreciation for them tonight? Would you do that? You can be seated. Well, listen, right now, hey, boys, I've got three boys. I need you to come sit with the adults because I can't have you running around, okay? Because this is really important, some of the stuff that's going to happen. So why don't you go back and make sure you park it right over there? All right? Very good. Well, you know what? Right now, it's, it's, it's a Christmas holiday. I need a young man to help me tonight. Somebody will do what I ask them to do. Uh, i got to look around here. Uh, how about, w- would you help me out, man? Uh-oh, my mic keeps fluttering here. Let me see. You want to help me? Uh, you're a little bit older than what I need. Let me, let me look. I, I need a boy. How about you right there? Come on up here. Yeah, no, come on, come on. All right. Come up those steps right over there. All right. You know, I went looking for jerseys today, and that was one I wanted to buy. Could I have that? No, come on right over here. I haven't met him. What's your name? Michael. Michael. How are you, man? It's good to meet you. My word. You got one of those rubber arms, Michael. You better get that taken care of, boy. Well, Michael, listen, you're going to help me today. And, Michael, normally I don't do a lot of tricks. But I thought tonight, you know, the kids wanted me to do a trick. And this is probably the Go out. Okay, we're getting, we're getting a little bit of interference. Okay, we got it back. I was saying, this is probably the hardest trick that I do. And you're going to help me with it, okay, Michael? But Michael, before we get started, there's something I brought with me, and it's very special. Michael, this is what I call my do-rag. And Michael... In just a second, I want you to put it in your hand. And when I count to three, I want you to shake it. I want you to raise your foot and pump your arm. And this is what you do on three. You say, do it. Okay, Michael? You just take it and go, do it. 
Can you do that? Okay, put it in your hand. All right, on the count of three, raise your foot and pump your arm. Get ready. One, two, three. Do it. All right, well, that wasn't bad. It's kind of do it. Okay, let's do it, but this time yell it just like you would yell at your brother or sister, okay? All right, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, get ready to do it, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Do it. All right. <laughs> Woo! You got it. Now, Michael. You hold on to that. I got a couple things to show you. You step back here. Michael, if you look over here on this side of the stage, you're going to see that I've got an orange bandana, but I want you to see what I have underneath it. I have a Christmas black container. But you know what? If you go over here on this side, Michael, you see I have a red cloth, but underneath the red cloth is... A Christmas black container. And Michael, I want you to know what I have underneath it. Something I love. Do you like to eat? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Michael, if you look underneath this black container, I've got peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Do you like peanut butter? No, okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. But you know, we've got peanut butter. But if we look over here, Michael, underneath this one is the cousin to peanut butter. We've got jelly. Not your husband, not jelly, but <laughs> jelly. Now, this is what we're going to do. On the count of three, step back. I don't want you to get hurt. When you count to three and you say do it, the peanut butter is going to go over there and the jelly is going to come over here. All right? It's going to fly through the air. You will never even see it. So get ready. Stand back. Don't get hurt. One. Two, three. Do it. <laughs> woo, woo. Did you feel it? Did you feel it? <laughs> well, I, I did. The peanut butter went there. The jelly went there. Should we see if it worked? All right, let's see if it worked. Yep, it worked. The jelly's there. <laughs> and the peanut butter's there. <laughs> it worked. It... What's wrong? No, they, they changed places. Show you. No, 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 they changed places. They... Okay, fine, fine, hold it. Let's make it, let's make it doubly hard, Michael, okay? This time, we're going to make the peanut butter come all the way back and make the jelly go back over there, okay? So on the count of three, be careful, don't get hit. On the count of three, wave that, and they're going to change back. Here we go, ready? One, two, three. Do it. Woo! <laughs> did you feel it? Did you feel it? You didn't. Well, let's see if it worked. Over here, what's happened? Ah, the peanut butter came back. Oh, my word. That is so cool. It came back. And then over here, the jelly came back. Oh, my word. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's make it triply hard. Uh, I, I'll tell you what. Let me put that down for a second. I brought something with me. I brought some bread that somebody, thank you, Michael, for buying this downstairs. And uh, we're going to take this bread out of the bag. And Michael, what I want you to do is to choose two pieces next to each other in there. What two do you want? Don't squeeze them all. Just show me two. What two do you want? You got to choose, no, that's one. Take the one next to it with it. Now, take it out very carefully. Hold it. Don't drop it. <laughs> yeah. And just a second. I just want to take a look at them. Do they look fresh? Yeah, they are. I tell you, they just came from the bakery. Now, hold on to that very carefully. Now, tell you what. I'm going to let you hold it. Let's get a bag. And I want you, we're going to put them inside. Take this, and then I want you to hold these as I put them in. Okay, now where's your rag? Hold it. Take, take your rag. Hold on to that. Is, it, is your bread in there? Okay. We'll leave it in there. How many are in there? Two. Two pieces. Hold on to that in your hand. Hold the rag. Get ready. Now, Michael... On the count of three, this time I'm going to scoot you up. I want you to feel it because you didn't feel it the last two times. On the count of three, I want you to shake the cloth, 
not the bread. Shake it, pump your legs, say, do it, and we're going to change places. Peanut butter there, jelly here. Are you ready? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Did you feel it? Did you? Yeah. Well, the peanut butter went over there, and the jelly went over here, I'm sure. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, the jelly's there. <laughs> and the pe- what? What? No, no, go sit down. Go, go. What? Hold it. What? Do what? Pick it up. Oh, pick it up. Okay. There we go. It went. What? 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 This? What? No, the peanut butter's here. It really is. I promise you. Hold it. The jelly. The jelly came back too. But hold, hold it, you don't believe, hold it. I'll tell you what, did you feel it pass through you? Oh, hold it, hold on, let go of that. Take this out of the bag. Reach in there and take your two pieces of bread. Just hold it for a second, take it out. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Nothing else in there. Would you separate the two pieces of bread, take them apart? No, take them apart. You know what? Yep, that's peanut butter, dude. And that's jelly. And I got to tell you what, would you like that sandwich? No. Well, listen, I don't know how he did that, but give him a big as he goes back to his seat. You can go back down there, buddy. Thank you. Oh. You got to make sure you tell me how you did that afterwards, okay? Well, I'll tell you what, I love Christmas. I can tell you that it's one of my favorite times. And I can tell you that what has made a difference in my life is not just knowing about Christmas. But you know what, kids and adults, I was five years old when I accepted the greatest gift you could ever have. And that was Jesus Christ coming into my life. I was only five, but I'll never forget the day I said, God, forgive me of my sin. Jesus, come into my life. And you know what? Christmas means a lot to me because I realized that God took me that I didn't feel was worth anything and made me his child. I can tell you that, that there are times that... that uh, I'm looking for something that I sat down and I, there it is. I remember the times that I felt like I was just no gift. Thought I wasn't worth much. I thought I was just a a person, that there wasn't much there. And you know what? I found out that felt like there was nothing in my life at all. I knew about Christmas. But I've watched other people feel like they're not worth anything, that there's nothing in their life. But you know the neat thing about Christmas? Is when you realize that Jesus came and was born, but died on a cross for our sin, so that no matter what ever went on in our life, he wanted us to know that out of us, he could create something very beautiful. You see, there are times that we, again, feel like there's nothing there. We feel like we have nothing to offer God, but God says, you don't have to give me anything, but I give you the gift. I give you the gift of my love for you. And God places in you something so beautiful that when you realize that you can never do it on your own, but when you come and say, God, I give you everything I have. God, I give you my life. And you know what? It's amazing that the gift he gives us is Jesus Christ. You know what? You can know about Christmas, but it's not until you experience Jesus Christ 
the forgiveness of everything we've done wrong. And Jesus comes into our life to be our best friend. That is what Christmas is all about. God, I, I pray for each person here tonight that while they celebrate Christmas, I pray that they'll have the opportunity to experience you. That even tonight, if they don't have a personal relationship, that they can just say, God, forgive me of the past. Forgive me of my sin. Jesus, come into my life. Be my best friend. And God, may they experience the gift. Don't have to pay for it, but all they have to do is give you their life. God, thank you for this time. We love you tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I want to tell you tonight that God wants us to realize that we can be his shining light. That's what Christmas is all about. Be his shining light. Everybody come along, we're gonna shine, we can't shine no more, our God's great, His Spirit's flowing, and we're already knowing, it doesn't matter who you are, be a shining star, share the love of Jesus with all your might, He'll guide you with His Spirit and through His holy light, our God's great. His spirit's flowing, and we're already knowing it doesn't matter who you are. Be a shining star, shine, shine, shine your light. Yeah, bring it down. Shine, 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 shine your light. Don't let Satan blow. You gotta let it, let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. You gotta let it, let it shine. Oh, you gotta let it, let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. You gotta let it, let it shine. Shine, 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 shine. Shine, shine, shine your light now, Christmas. Shine, 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 shine your light. Well, thank you for letting me share with you tonight, and I hope you'll be back tomorrow to see your kids shine for you as they do their program. Remember Christmas, what it's about. Thanks for letting me be with you tonight. God bless you. <laughs>